All right, so some variations, things to play with in bridge. Uh, you're gonna get just into your position you would do for bridge. So uh, you can get your feet about hip joint distance apart or so, more or less. Just feel where you feel most grounded. Usually the starting alignment is about hip um, joint distance apart. So you could even think like sitting bone distance apart. But if you're a little bit wider, that's fine too. It just depends on what kind of allows you to comfortably do the movement. And your arms just resting at your sides. You can do palms up or palms down. All right, so we're gonna do just a roll up and a roll down first to see what the movement feels like so we can compare before and after. So you just uh, sink your feet into the ground. Like you're just trying to push the ground down and away from you with your feet. And then you'll roll the pelvis up one vertebra at a time with the pelvis leading the way. So you come all the way up to rest somewhere on your shoulders, but you're thinking of the lift coming from the, um, the pressure down through the feet to lift the back of the hip joints towards the front of the hip joints. The spine just came along for the ride. And then you just let one vertebra at a time sink down into the mat to roll down. All right, so just noticing how that feels. And now again, sink your feet down into the ground. Feel yourself pressing the floor down and away with the feet. Roll up through the spine. And as you come all the way up to the top again, resting on the shoulders somewhere where it feels like the work is happening from lifting the pelvis up versus um, like hoisting the spine way up in the air. All right. And then we're gonna sink the left foot more down into the ground and think of reaching your left shin for the wall in front of you. And that'll drop your right pelvis, right side of the pelvis down. So the whole pelvis is rotating to the right. And then I'm gonna push more into my right foot, sinking it into the ground, reach the right shin towards the wall in front of me and that left hip is gonna sink down. So I have less work going on in my left leg, left foot right now. And now I'm gonna take some of the work out of my right leg because the left foot's gonna sink into the ground. The left shin's gonna reach towards the wall in front of me. So this like kind of pressing down into the foot, reaching the shin away is creating this rotation from side to side on the pelvis. And once you have a hang of that, then you can go you can change the, the pace of it a little bit, but just making sure the movement is just kind of smooth and controlled. Notice if there are any choppy or a little like kind of jagged, staggered spots in it. I find, I'm finding a few in mine. See if you can smooth out through those points more. All right, once you've done some of those, then roll back down, just letting one vertebra at a time come back down to find the mat. All right, then we'll roll back up again and do another variation. So you roll up through the spine. All right, so we did some rotation. Now we're gonna do some um, translating or shifting from side to side. So now you can imagine that your pelvis is on a, like a skateboard. I used to use the typewriter imagery, but that's not always relevant to everybody anymore. So when you think of the, the pelvis being on a, a skateboard and that that skateboard is gonna, we're gonna slide it over to the right. So the pelvis will shift over to the right. And then you come back to center and then you shift it over to the left and then you come back to center. And so you're just going from side to side. Now there's ways to kind of even fine tune this. So I notice that sometimes when I'm doing this that I'm just like kind of moving through the pelvis and I'll sometimes even get a little hip hike. So we're trying to keep both sides of the body long versus one hip. And if you can see that one hip coming closer up to the rib cage than the other, and I'm just, sliding as if my pelvis bones had little laser beams pointing up towards the ceiling 
and they were following a line that's straight on the ceiling, gliding it from side to side. And then what I'm also trying to do is the point that is of my spine that is lifted off of the mat that's just like kind of below on my spine for where the part of my spine is resting on the mat. I'm gonna see if I can even kind of shift that over to the sides, which is a little harder. The rib cage in the pelvis shifts to the side, the rib cage in the pelvis shifts to the left. So this is a spot in me where it's a little harder for me to find that. Now you come back to center if you've done that a couple of times, and then you'll roll down through the spine like a couple segments, so maybe just like kind of a few vertebrae or so. And then you do the same thing. So the part of the spine that's lifted up off of the mat, you glide that over to the right, the pelvis over to the right, and then you come back to center. It's even hard when I'm talking and demonstrating it's even harder. It goes a little better when I'm really focusing on sensing and feeling it. And then you glide over to the left and back to center. And you see that I have my hands on my hip bones, my two front pelvis bones and my ribs, so I can just kind of feel into that and see what's going on. So you can maybe do a couple on these sides. Another thing to note is that your knees are staying still. So my knees aren't shifting as I do this as well. So then you roll down a couple more segments. So I'm now a little bit more towards the low back and then gliding over to the right, center, and gliding over to the left and center. And then you can do, I just kind of did those three sections. You can do as many as you want. But that's a few things to play with, and if you have any questions, let me know.